A team of IU biologists says an accidental discovery could have huge implications for the study of evolutionary biology. Sophia Salaby has more. Indiana University biologist Armin Mochak describes the horned dung beetles he studies as looking like small coffee beans. The ones he's showing us look just like regular beetles with six little legs and a shiny black body. But some of the beetles Mochek and his team studies were just featured in the Journal of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences for one special feature, a third eye. And it turns out that this eye is fully functional. It's in the wrong place. It's not a perfect eye, but it's perfect enough to see. That extra eye was a surprise discovery his team found after interfering with the bug's genetic material during its development. So instead of a horn that typically develops in the middle of the head, the beetle has a functional third eye. It's done in a process called RNA interference. The team injected RNA into the beetles during their larval stage. That injected RNA corresponded with the beetles' own genetic material, but targeted one specific gene that researchers wanted to deactivate. So you use their own defenses to silence one of their own genes. The researchers replicated the results with many different species of dung beetles. Figuring out why this specific genetic manipulation works in these beetles but doesn't for other less closely related species is the next step for the biologists. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Sophia Salaby. The researchers have plans to study the effects of same gene deactivation in milkweed bugs or cockroaches. They have not decided whether they will bring the bugs in or work with another lab.